three tips to help you become a better shooter overnight. Tip number one, find your shooting cues. Um, different jump shots, uh, different styles of play. You can find, okay, if when he does this, that means I'm gonna green. Or when he when when the elbow hits his uh arm, let it go so I can shoot. Um, you will find little different things that say consistent when you make green jump shots. For me and the jump shot I use, which I will have my jump shot video down here in the comments, I always search my guy, I always look at my guy's elbow. When my guy elbow goes up right before it gets to the ear or the top part of his head, I know to release my jump shot, and that's how I time my jump shot. It's very important to have three different cues while you're shooting your jump shot. One a visual cue, and one a mental cue, and then you will have the, uh, uh, what's it called? The um, muscle memory while you're shooting as well. The next thing I'm gonna say is you gotta make sure you practice. And I know that sound like, uh, duh, I know, to become a better shooter, I gotta take the shots. Uh, but I wanna take a second and explain that. Um, while you're practicing and while you're taking the shots, you're taking different angles of the shot. So like now we're looking at uh, the corner three that I'm taking. So now my cues are gonna be different from this corner three opposed from me looking over my shoulder, watching myself take the same shot. Uh, it's things like that that you have to get used to seeing and just get more of a rhythm of shooting. And keep in mind when you're taking these shots that a uh, fatigue also plays a big role in the shots as well. So uh, just learning and timing your shots, there's something else you have to uh, be prepared for is fatigue and the effect fatigue has on your shots. And the last thing I got for you guys is uh, having the best jump shot is, well having a good jump shot is 99% of the equation here. Uh, having important things like the timing impact on an A and a release speed on an A. Well, not the release speed, just more the timing impact, uh, things like that that you need to learn and master just so you can have, uh, uh, so you can make shots with your jump shot. That's 98% of the issue. Um, other things don't pay that much, uh, don't matter that much as the timing impact. Like the release speed really don't make a difference as what you're comfortable with. And the release height, it only really matters if you are a uh, center or powerful or a larger character because you don't want like a smaller character. Because you don't want a smaller character to come and block your shot if you like a big doing post hooks or something like that. All right, guys, if you follow these tips, man, you'll be a better shot maker before you know it, all right? Make sure you guys take a second like and follow, and I'll see you guys on the next one.